I'm Anil Kumar discussing with you the process of finding limits for trigonometric functions. The question here is to evaluate limit when x approaches 1 for cos pi x by 2 divided by 1 minus x. To solve such a question, we can make a substitution. So let us say that 1 minus x, let that be equal to theta. So from here, we can write what x is equals to 1 minus theta will be equal to x, right? So we can rearrange and write it like this. Also, as x approaches 1, right? So theta approaches what? Theta approaches 1 minus 1, which is 0. So these are the things which we can look into while doing a substitution 1 minus x equals to theta. So with this substitution, let me rewrite the given question. So it could be written as limit. Instead of x, we are working with theta now. So theta approaches 0. Cos of pi. So it's written pi by 2. Let me write this as pi by 2. And I'll replace x by 1 minus theta. 1 minus theta. Is it okay? Okay. That's the numerator and the denominator 1 minus x will be written as theta. So that is how we can substitute and now it will be simpler to find the limit of this question. So what we have here is limit uh, approaches 0 and here we could write this as cos theta by 2 I mean I'm sorry pi by 2 pi by 2 minus pi by 2 theta, right? pi by 2 theta. So once you open the bracket, you could write like this, divide by theta. Now what is cos pi by 2 minus an angle? Well, let's look into this part. What is cos pi by 2 minus some angle? Let's say phi. That is indeed equal to sine phi, right? So we could write this numerator as limit theta approaches 0 for sine pi by 2 theta over theta. Right? So, so that is how we can rewrite it. Now we know that limit for theta approaches 0 for sine theta over theta is actually 1. So we can use this principle. It, theta could be pi by 2 theta also. So to get pi by 2 in the numerator rather in denominator, what we can do at this stage is that we can multiply and divide by pi by 2, right? So we could multiply by pi by 2 in the numerator and pi by 2 in the denominator, right? So once we do that, we get here as limit theta approaches 0. So we have sine pi by 2 theta over pi by 2 theta times pi by 2. Is it okay? Now, this part of the limit is 1 and theta does not really affect pi by 2. So, we could write down our answer as equal to limit of this function is pi by 2. Correct? So we get pi by 2 as the answer for this particular limit. I hope the steps are clear. So you should begin by substituting 1 minus x. Since we are looking for a number here, I mean, not an expression like this. So that we could use some properties which we learned about limits. And then another thing which we recall was an identity. How cos pi by 2 minus any angle is related related with sine of that angle. Once you use these two things, it becomes simpler. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.